you're either being controlled by the simulation or you are controlling it. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to control that and break this down for you that way, because when you have a controlled, concentrated and directed attention on the feeling of your wish fulfilled and the image and the vision of that as already being completed, and you can hold on to that image, that's when you have control over the simulation. But when you're going into your world and, you, and people are telling you, you can't do this, you can't do this, you have negative things and you're reacting all day long to the different things that happen to you throughout the day, that's when the simulation has control over you because you're in the reactionary imaginary process now. Now when someone says something, you can't do something, now you're imaging yourself not being able to do it. But when you have a vision of it being completed, then your mindset changes and it's picturing these new things coming into your life because imagination is out picturing itself. So, but, so what are you imagining? Are you in control of what you're imagining? Are you just living at whatever the simulation is giving you and you're staying in that world? This is what we're going to get into in this chapter. This is Subjective Control, Chapter 12 by Neville Goddard, Power of Awareness. And here it is. Your imagination is able to do all that you ask in proportion to the degree of your attention. You're able to control the simulation and your ability to control it is dependent on this, on the proportion to the degree of the attention that you have in the internal world of creating a vision in your mind and not being reactionary towards the outside world. Because if you start being reactionary towards the outside world, then the simulation is controlling you. It has control over you. And, it ha and once you start reacting to it, then the images in your mind are now associated with that reaction. And then you're out picturing this, out picturing things that are associated with those reactions and what the simulation is showing you. But when you can disregard those things and be like, you want to know what? My world's not real. It's a simulation. I'm going to hold my vision with my attention, my established attention. And I'm going to hold my vision of having a McLaren or, you know, a, my dream house, my dream physique, my dream relationship, having financial freedom, finding my purpose. That's what I'm going to hold my vision. I'm going to see that clearly in my mind. I don't care what the simulation is telling me. And when you do that, the, your, the images in your mind, your imagination is changing because everything is created from your imagination. It's being outpictured by the things that you're imagining. All right. So when you get that mindset and you can control the direction of your attention and make the decision not to be controlled by the simulation, because when you do that, you're staying in the same world. It's, it's going to keep giving you the same things and getting worse, probably. All right. So all progress, all fulfillment of desire depend upon the control and concentration of your attention. Attention may be either attracted from without or directed from within. Attention is attracted from within when you are consciously occupied with the external impressions of the immediate present. The very lines on this page are attracting your attention from without. Without. Your attention is directed from within when you deliberately choose what you will be preoccupied with mentally. Listen, your, your, your life controlling the simulation is right here. You control the simulation this way. When your attention is directed from within and you control the simulation, you are deliberately choosing what you will be preoccupied with mentally, internally. What is going on in your mind? Regardless of what's happening in the simulation, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about your world and what's coming to you tomorrow? And what's coming to you now? What's your overall mindset when it relates to that? What are you imaging in your mind? Do you have control over this? All right, remember this, okay? This is so important. It is obvious that in the obje objective world, in the simulation, your attention is only attracted by, but is constantly, your attention is not only attracted by, but is constantly directed to external impressions. There's a car accident in front of you. It has your attention, okay? It's controlling you. You're in control. You're being controlled by the simulation. Remember, it's not real, okay? When this stuff happens to you, remember this. Remember. It doesn't mean that you're not a good person. It doesn't mean you don't help people. It doesn't mean that you're... You're, you're selfless. It doesn't mean that you don't go out of your way to help people. It's nothing to do with it. You still do all those things, okay? But don't let it control you. Don't let it control the images in your mind. It is obvious, okay? But your control in the subjective state is almost non-existent when this happens. For in this state, attention is usually the servant and not the master. So you're either the servant of your world or you're the simulation's master, the passenger and not the navigator. Do you want to be the passenger or do you want to be the driver? Passenger or the driver of your world. Remember this. 
There is an enormous difference between attention directed objectively and attention directed subjectively. All right, so your attention, when it's being directed objectively, the simulation has control over you and is taking you. It's like being in the ocean on a sailboat, but your sails are not up, okay? You don't know how to sail. You're just being controlled and directed wherever the ocean wants to take you. That's where you're going. That's your life when you don't have directed control of your attention. But when you take it subjectively and you can control what's happening and you have a vision of the future and you could feel your, you, what you desire is already being complete and you, and you learn to master this, all right, that's when you have control over the simulation and the capacity to change your future depends on this, depends on this. So when you are able to control the movements of your attention in the subjective world, you can modify or alter the simulation as you please. But this control cannot be achieved if you allow your attention to be attracted constantly from without. Because you, over the years, you've developed these habits. This is the way we were trained when we were kids, from our teachers, from our parents, from everyone that raised us, that, that the simulation is real and you have to be reactionary and you have to do this, you have to do that. You can't do this, you can't do that. And, and you're limited by all these different things, okay? This is the way we've been trained. But, and, and that's the reason why it can be difficult at first to start deliberately taking your focus away and taking it to the internal world where it actually, that's where everything is created. Okay, so remember this. This control cannot be achieved if you allow your attention to be attracted constantly from without. So how do you change it? Right here. Each day, set yourself the task of deliberately withdrawing your attention from the objective world and focusing it subjectively. Do this in meditation. In other words, Concentrate on your thoughts or moods, which you deliberately determine. So when you're going throughout your day and you notice that your reactionary process, pull back right here. Take the task of deliberately withdrawing your attention from that objective appearance, the objective world, the simulation. Take it back. Go into meditation. Start creating your own outcomes in your own mind. Start changing the pictures that are coming in your imagination. Concentrate on those thoughts or moods, which you deliberately determine then those things that now restrict you will fade and drop away. You'll notice this too. When you stop reacting to different things and you start going subjectively within, it starts changing your frequencies. You're no longer affected by those things anymore. Once you, once you change your mindset completely and you're in this high frequency, you're like, you're in control of your feeling states and your moods. These things, will, if they continue to keep happening, you, you don't see them that way anymore. They go away. Because if you're in a high frequency and a low frequency person comes to you, you're not going to accept that as low frequency. It's automatically going to turn to high frequency unless you're in a low frequency too. Like if I come across somebody that's very negative, I always pull something good out of it that I can use or something that I'm grateful for that I'm not. Like if I see a negative person, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that my mindset isn't like that. And it makes me grateful for my current situation. You know, as I'm always pulling positive high frequency things from lower frequency people. Because I'm in a high frequency and I've changed my mindset just like this by doing these exercises, okay? And eventually, you're, I, I've had a lot of training with this, but it can be done a little bit more quickly than that. But sometimes it can take a little bit of time. But why not? Well, why wouldn't you want to change it? That's the question. Start now. Start developing and start using the techniques, the tools, the exercises, the courses. Start investing in your mindset because when it changes, you're entire world like this night and day difference from the way that i used to be till now it's like i wasn't even a real person i wasn't able to create anything or be a solid foundation or provider for anyone and do anything worth worth value at all when i was in that low frequency i'm so glad that i was able to change my mindset and and practice and develop my attention and present moment awareness my life is just amazing now because of it. And I want everyone to experience this. All right. So when you determine that, you take deliberate control back of your attention. Okay. So then those things that now restrict you will fade and drop away out of your life. Okay. So the day you achieve control of the movements of your attention in the subjective world, you are the master of the simulation. You will no longer accept the dominance of outside conditions and circumstances. You will not accept life on the basis of the world without. You will not, you will not allow the simulation to control your life anymore because you know it's not real. You are able to manipulate and control it through your directed attention and imagination. 
Having achieved control of the movements of your attention and having discovered the mystery hid from the ages that Christ actually lives within you and it's your imagination, you will assert your supremacy of imagination and put all things in subjection to it. You will learn to control the simulation through your imagination because even consciously or unconsciously, you are creating your the simulation. You're, you're affecting it. It's being controlled by you always, but how are you controlling it? Are you controlling it consciously or unconsciously? Are you in a reactionary process where you're, discon you're reacting to it and then you're creating more of it through your imagination as you are reacting? Or are you not reacting anymore? You put yourself in a high frequency and you're having your vision of the future all the time and, and accepting these things as, be, as, as things that are happening to you for your benefit, no matter what it is. That's when you really start seeing these huge, huge, huge changes in your life. All right, so we have chapter 13 next, acceptance, but this is a powerful, I want to, I want to, I want to cover this a little bit again. I want to go over this to make sure everyone truly understands this. Subjective control, internal control of your imagination and your attention is the most powerful and important thing for you to gain in your life. Take control of your imagination and your attention and your mindset. Stop reacting to the simulation. Take your life back and, and create the life of your dreams. And you can simply do this, okay? This can be done very, very simply through these training processes, especially the ones that we have built on school in the community. And we have a course and we have live recordings where I cover this stuff in detail. And if you really wanna take your life to the next level, join my community. We have about a thousand members right now. I know some of you out there right now have thought about joining and want to join. Listen, it will, you will not regret it. You need to get these exercises in your mind fixed because you can live the life of your dreams. You can today. You could start today by really changing your life, getting your attention, your present moment awareness, and really put a structure in place for your life. And you're going to just that slightly turned, you're going to see your entire life and it's going to feel surreal to you. Once you really start implementing the courses, the exercises, and really start doing this and start investing in yourself. Once you invest in yourself, you're going to use it and you're actually going to apply it. And that's something else I've noticed in my life is when I, when I paid something, even if it was only $50, I'm going to use that more than I would something that was for free. I'm going to apply it. I'm not just going to be like, oh, I'll put it on the back burner. If it's free, I'm going to put it on the back burner. If I pay a little bit of money for it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this. I'm going to apply this. I'm gonna, I've invested in myself, so I'm going to make sure that I use this. And it's very important. This is very important. All right, guys. The next chapter is chapter 13. We'll be getting into that here shortly. Uh, that's acceptance. Acceptance of the end. The natural feeling of your wish fulfilled. We'll be getting that next. I love you guys, and I will see you inside the school community. That's the very first link in the description. I love you guys. See you inside for the live events.